I just wanted to do a quick video to show how to actually play videos in YouTube twice as quick or even one and a half times as quick. This saves a lot of time. Um, you can watch two videos in the space of one basically. So what you've got to do here is you've got to go to this URL which is youtube.com slash html5. What you'll see down here um, it'll tell you what your browser supports. Now this is the main one that I found it's neat is, is WebM but Chrome will support all of these and then what you need to do is just basically click on the join the HTML5 trial link once you've done that you'll have all these green ticks so what this means now is that you should be able to go to a video and have the option to watch it in a faster speed alright here we go in a video. Okay, we're on the Code Academy website. And we're going to attempt one of the examples here. So that's playing in normal speed. Um, we'll take it back to the start. And we'll go to this option here, which is the settings button. You'll see now we have the ability to play it in various different speeds. So we'll select two times speed. Most of the time, you can watch videos in two times speed unless the people speak very quickly. But uh, in that case, you can go to one and a half speed. But we'll try it now in two times speed and see how we go. Okay, we're on the Code Academy website. And we're going to attempt one of the examples here. All right. All right. For you, that might may sound quick, but believe me, once you're used to listening in double speed, you get used to it. I listen to all my podcasts in double speed and to me, um, if they're not at double speed, they actually sound slow, but once you're starting out, maybe you could go to one and a half times speed, which will get used to it a bit quicker. Okay, we're on the Code Academy website and we're going to attempt one of the examples here. Alright, so anyway, that's how you do it and um, I think you'll find you get used to it over time and it will oh, save you a lot of time. So uh, I don't think all videos are supported yet, but nearly all of them are. So there you go. Good way to save a bit of time.